Hello. I'm standing in the part of the museum that's just between the golden age of aviation and the beginning of World War II. And we have in our museum an example of three pilot training aircraft that I think are very worthwhile talking about. Uh, when I give a guided tour through the museum, I always encourage guests to look up because we have a number of aircraft hanging from the roof that you can walk right under and miss. And a lot of times people will miss the three airplanes that were very famous trainers prior to World War II uh, that they walk under and they kind of miss. So I'd like to talk about those today. Uh, the first one I'd like to talk about is the Boeing Stearman PT-17, also known as the Model 75. That was the civilian nomenclature but the military nomenclature was the PT-17 cadet for the Army Air Corps and the NS-2 for the Navy. This particular version of the Stearman uh, biplane is uh, the Navy version. So you'll notice it's painted in yellow with red markings and so on and so forth. So this is the Navy version. The Army Air Corps version had a blue painted fuselage with yellow wings. So they were pretty distinct, distinctly different. The Stearman probably ended up training uh, uh, tens of thousands of pilots. This was a primary trainer. Notice a couple of things. Uh, it's an open cockpit biplane, two wings, two open cockpits. The instructor sat in front, the student sat in back. So you can imagine that was kind of an interesting training scenario where they're trying to communicate back and forth where they don't really see each other. Uh, the other you'll notice is that it's a tail dragger. There's two main gear under the wing, followed by a small tail wheel. And we'll get into the challenges of learning to fly in a tail dragger, as they are known, in just a moment. About 10,000 Stearmans were built uh, prior to World War II. And uh, it was actually started out by Stearman himself, and then the company was eventually sold to Boeing, which is kind of why it's known today as the Boeing Stearman Model 75. The, well, the distinctive thing about the Stearman was that this was really the first plane that pilots would, would get in and learn to fly in. It was pretty powerful, 200 horsepower, uh, open cockpit, wind in your face, uh, incredibly strong airplane. It was, it was built, quite frankly, like a tank. Metal fuselage, metal wing structure covered in canvas. So it was extremely strong. It was said that this plane could endure 12 positive Gs and nine negative Gs. Aircraft fighters today, I mean, modern day fighters are barely able to pull those kinds of G-forces. And yet this plane being built in the 1930s and 40s. This particular Stearman is interesting because we, we, uh, we, we see the history of this Stearman out of Pensacola, Florida, which is where the Navy trained most of its Navy and Marine aviators prior to World War II. Uh, and it is this particular Stearman that is said to have been flown by Pappy Boynton. And if you know anything about uh, aviation history, Pappy Boynton was not only a uh, AVG, American Volunteer Flying Tiger prior to World War II, but he also ended up joining the Marine Corps and becoming one of the top leading Marine aces, famous for uh, the Black Sheep Squadron, which is the the renegade squadron that he led in World War II against great success against the Japanese. So we have a great example of a beautiful Stearman. I'll say one other thing about the Stearman. My father was a World War II pilot and actually learned to fly in a Stearman. And I asked him one day, uh, Dad, if you had to fly one last plane after all the planes you flew in World War II, because he flew most of the military planes at that time. He goes, Paul, if I had one more plane to fly, the last plane I would fly would be a Stearman. I think it was the love of his life airplane and uh, he talked about it all the time. So I was happy to share some thoughts about the Stearman with you. So if you tour our museum, come on down, go through the entire museum and please, when you get to the golden age of aviation, the beginning of World War II, look up and enjoy the airplanes that are hanging over your head. Thank you.